management faculty have a unique blend of high-level scholarship and service to the UNT community, industry, and the people in the community. Dr. Marcus Wolf joined us this fall as the G. Brent Ryan Professor of Entrepreneurship. One of our goals is to kind of move up in the research rankings. So we've done that in a variety of ways, incentivizing faculty members, and then of course, hiring some top-notch faculty members. We've had some amazing hires in the last few years. We hired Casey Schwab as the Brent Ryan Professor of Taxation. And more recently, we hired Chad Prowell. He comes to us from Texas Christian University. He's the G. Brent Ryan Professor and on the behavioral side. And so both of them have immediately started contributing to the department. We have welcomed Dr. Gupreet Dillon into the role of G. Brent Ryan Endowed Chair of Cybersecurity and Artificial Intelligence. And Dr. Gupreet is helping us to lead groundbreaking research. We have an NSF funded project that one of our faculty member, Dr. Lori Giddens, is working on as a part of an interdisciplinary team. And the goal of the project is to investigate how information technology can be used to combat human trafficking. Jeremy Short is considered among the top 2% of researchers in management just based on citation metrics. Daniel Cooper, the research director of the People Center, was recently invited to become associate editor of the Academy of Management Review. Matt Walker is a member of our sport entertainment management group. He was recently designated as a research fellow of the Sport Marketing Association. We nominated Hoda Vaziri for an early career award in research and creativity. The central theme of Hoda's research is work and family life balance. Her expertise and her passion for that research earned her the 2022 award for re responsible research in management. We've also got other outstanding faculty members on the research side. Blair Marquardt, for example, recently published a paper in the Journal of Banking and Finance, which is one of the top journals in finance. Lesgin A is our new assistant professor in finance. He's already published an article in the Journal of Financial and Quantitative Analysis, JFQA. We have Meredith Rhodes, who's been with us for about three years. She's published a paper in the Journal of Financial Markets. We have Shun Bian, our real estate faculty, who's published Real Estate Economics, published in the Journal of Real Estate Research. These are all top journals in real estate. Dr. Blair Kibwell has been the epitome uh, in our department. He has published, in fact, just the last two years, about four journal uh, articles in the UTD list. Dr. Lidan Sue, it's also considered to be very strong in terms of our consumer behavior, having published two UTD lists uh, so far and a third one, which is also in the FT50. One of the ways we monitor our rankings is through the BYU Brigham Young University rankings. We've been steadily moving up that ranking and most the most recent rankings just got released and uh, you know, we're doing extremely well in um, accounting information systems. We're one of the top universities in the world uh, and in number one in Texas. Uh, in archival tax research also, we've moved up uh, and we're about 24th in the world. So our um, overall research breadth um, is 15th in the world and first in Texas. We're now ranked by the Gartner Group as the number six supply chain management program in the country and the top supply chain management program in Texas. Uh, Mark Evers, Dr. Mark Evers, he's been able to almost single-handedly get the personal finance class. Finance 2770 has been now added to the university core and we're already seeing sharp uptick in enrollment. We're already at over 200 per semester and we expect that to grow into the 300s in a very short while. We now have a BBA financial planning degree, which is the only one offered in the DFW area. It is also certified by the Certified Financial Planning Board, which is the board for uh, financial planning. The using live case studies, uh, making students actually practice in real time for giving companies is something that we also do. And I think the person that does this very, very well is Francisco Guzman. UNT organized a business analytics hackathon with the help of the Business Analytics Club, as well as faculty members. 
and we had students work on a project given to us by the Southwest Airlines. In RMI, Risk Management Insurance, we've had students consistently place top honors in many national competitions. We just had a team win an IRM uh, Institute of Real Estate Management competition. The Chartered Financial Analyst IRC competition is a, is a major annual competition in finance. And our team last year made it to the regional finals. They didn't go all the way to the nationals, but just getting to the regionals is actually quite uh, commendable. We've been able to be very dominant in those competitions. Uh, for example, the, the Intermodal Association of North America, or IANA, we send teams to those, that competition, and for the last two years, we've won that comp competition. Two of our students, Maya Coco and Madison White, they were the sole awardees for the Robert P. Letty scholarship that's provided by the North Texas Society of Human Resource Management. UNT has made great strides in the last four or five years, and it's been just great to be part of that ride. Go Mean Green!